the most related question there would be speakers using a greenback versus the Alneo blue. Mm -hmm. And some people having not tried either, you know, mm -hmm. maybe they don't have the ability to go to a guitar store or their sure. store only has the one and they want to know the whole yeah, uh, the yeah. whole picture. They ask, what's the difference? Why should I choose one or the other? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, um, so obviously the, the Al Nico Blue, I mean, it's been part of Oxy's history, you know, pretty much since Dot. Um, and the greenback came along a little bit later on and it, it I mean, it, it, it ticked and topped between Al Nico and greenback. There was a kind of a, you know, it depended on what was in trend. Did you want something right. that had a more punky mid range or did you want something that w that could cut through the mix with, with a sparkly high end? Now, the sparkly high end is obviously the Al Nico blue and the slightly more mid rangey kind of, you know, that's more of the greenback. And they both give Vox a, a different tonality, the AC30 or AC15, a completely different right. tonality. Um, the sensitivity of each of the speakers, which effectively means how loud they are, so how much they actually chuck out, how much you know perceived audio output for the Alnico Blue is higher than the Greenback. So right. you're getting more out. You know, you're getting a louder sound. Um, and like I say, the tonality. If you were to look at the frequency responses of the two amp, two sorry, two uh, speakers, are very very different, and they work in a very different way because they are made of different things. So, for example, Al Nico is actually uh, it's an acronym for aluminium, nickel, and cobalt, which is the alloy they use for making the um, the magnet. Whereas the greenback is a ceramic magnet and they actually the flux works very very differently and their impedances work differently and when i say impedance it's a perceived impedance between a tube amp and a speaker and right. the tube amp i'm going to try and I'll, I'll keep it simple but the tube amp tubes via a transformer are in constant communication and feedback with the speaker and the speaker doesn't remain the same impedance across the uh, frequency spectrum. As the frequency changes, the impedance changes, and that makes the amp react differently. And there's a constant kind of to and fro between speakers and tubes, speakers and tubes, and one's pushing harder, this one's pushing less, and back and forth, and it's this constant battle between the two. The Alnico and the Greenback do that in a different way as well. So it can affect how the amp distorts. It can affect how the tonality of the amp is. It can, it can, depending on how you're playing it, it might affect how much perceived headroom, clean headroom you have. So right. let's be honest. Also, a key difference between the Alnico and the Greenback is cost. You know, the Alnico speaker is a very, very expensive speaker. But if you want the true Vox sound, and you can afford it, then the Alnico speaker is the one to go for. You know, um, Alnico is a very expensive alloy to make. And when you compare that to the ceramic magnet, you know, and you look at the different costs, I'm not going to talk price points or anything like that on this, but if you look at the price points on the internet and you look at the AC30C2X and the AC30C2, the difference in price is the speaker, and that's it. So right. it's, again... It's more expensive because it's a more premium part that adds so much more to the sound. Um, and again, it's just uh, for the modern player, maybe the greenback's better, but then right. maybe the Amico's better. I mean, again, it's it a, seems it, 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 like it's, uh, go on, no, go. It, it seems like it's similar to hand wired versus custom, where the Amico is more traditional and true to Vox, yeah. but the greenback adds something or, or rather, you know, shapes the sound in a way that might be favorable to a certain type of player. That's right. Exactly that. Because, I mean, obviously Vox is known for having, you know, bright jangly amps and things like that. And the, the Al Nico Blue will accentuate that so much. Um, right. And... Uh, it's it's just uh, overall, the Alnico really is just an unbelievable speaker. Um, but you know, again, it's not to everyone's uh, price point. Um, and uh, again, tone tonality is subjective, and I think it's important to be able to give users the option 
to pick because that way then they can actually go, well, do you know what? I, I'm not into the Alan Eco player. I, like, I prefer the Greenback sound. I want more mid-range. You know, it might right. fit what the genre of music they're playing. Um, and rather than having to buy, you know, aftermarket speakers and fit them and things like that, they actually just buy it off the shelf and, you know, and it's ready to go. Yeah. So um, I didn't even know when I um, was preparing to ask those two questions how closely they tied together. Mm. And the answer is kind of the same in yeah. traditional versus a different, um, slightly more modern uh, ability for mm. players to use it. Yeah, but sure. in in different ways. Yeah, definitely. And again, it's 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 giving the end users choice, and that's always something right. that, you know we're, we're keen on. Um, but it's uh, it's a kind of controlled choice, you know, because there are certain speakers that just don't work with boxes. I'm not going to name names, but there are certain ones that just don't work. And we would not release a product unless we were happy with its sound. And both of those right. products we love. And depending on who you are and you know what you're actually looking for, depends on which one you might actually buy. 